Now, Cody, obviously being world champion, comes with a massive target on your back and it's kind of shown that you've got to be wary even of your closest friends with you questioning Kevin Owens' loyalty. I think a lot of people were questioning Randy Orton earlier in the summer as well with the way he was eyeing up the WWE title. Do you feel that he could potentially be eyeing you up in the future and are you wary of him given his past? That's a great question. I also would like to not deflect by any means. I'll dive into it, but I do want to congratulate Randy and Gunther because when you go over these new arena gate records, as exciting as they are, those were the guys who were on top. Those are the ones that all of the local talent, all of us in the locker room, top to bottom on the card should be going to and thanking for the house. So Gunther, Randy Orton, thank you for the house. Um, in terms of him eyeing the title, I have seen a lot of rumblings in terms of, you know, your ear to the ground. You feel like people might want to see that match. It's a very, very different match than when I first showed up on Monday Night Raw and the person I wrestled was actually Randy Orton. Gosh, I don't want to give you a bad answer, but that, that match, a lot would have to happen for that match to take place. Again, that's a very real relationship and friendship and, and the mentor and the student, but uh, it's certainly not something I would back down from. Because like, like I just said, sometimes the people you want to know how you've grown the most is the ones closest to you and nobody's closer to me than Randy Orton. So um, if it happens, that's, that's a lot of drama. Uh, you know, as the uh, Bloodline fans like to say, the cinema, it's a lot of cinema. Um, but right now, no plans for it. 